but they are they are happening man okay at the rate the most I have set okay um, this is uh, second Ezra's Second Ezra is chapter 9 um, verse 1 he answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told you before okay we're just reading some of them in Matthew okay it's like your then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made okay Therefore, when when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of all the people in the world, okay, that's been going on, man, on an unprecedented scale. Okay, all these uprisings and shit and shit, all these protests and marchings and all, all kinds of stuff going on, man. You know, disgruntled people, man, with their governments and with each other, race riots and shit like that, man. Okay, all that's gonna get worse. Okay, it ain't gonna get better, it's gonna get fucking worse, man. Okay, because this is, this is all prophecy. Okay, it's not because, you know, I just said it. Okay, this is, this is what's been going on, man. This is the word of the Heavenly Father, okay? So these things is, is what's coming out there, man. Okay? So then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Okay, so this was set in motion from the very beginning, since the earth was made. Okay, but like all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end. The end is manifest. Okay, the end of this world is manifesting, or is being manifest. Okay, that's that's how you know that the word of the Heavenly Father is the truth, man, because this was laid out. <laughs> thousands of years ago, such a long time ago, man, and it's playing out today. Okay, and it's playing out like it's written, because this is the word of the Heavenly Father. Okay, the end is manifesting, the end of this world is coming. Okay, and the beginning of the next one is starting. Okay, all this is prophecy. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works. And endings in effects and signs. Okay, so you know, like I said, there's still signs, there's still prophecies that are yet to come to pass, man, that, that we watch for. Okay, so however long that takes, you know, Lord willing, you know, the Lord will have this wrapped up real soon, you know, but if, if we have to go a bit extra into extra time or whatever, man, you know, that little bit longer and we have to be here. Uh, to 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 enjoy more, then we'll we'll enjoy more, man. Okay, because that's that's what's been set up, man, and we have to deal with that. Okay, this is Mark chapter uh, thirteen, uh, verse thirteen. Oops, like yeah. Uh, Right, Mark 13 and 13 it says here and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake for he that shall endure until the end the same shall be saved okay so you know with that the same uh, similar thing in in Matthew okay so like I said man you know we, we got to be here enduring until the end man you can't fall off before the end is here you know and expect salvation man that's not the idea Okay, you need to be a faithful servant. Okay, basically, if you can't if you can't endure until the end, man, your faith is not enough. Okay, you, you know you, you bail out because of your lack of faith, and you know you don't have the patience to to continue. Okay, because you know niggas have done that, man. You know they bailed out, man. And now you got some niggas trying to get back into into the action, man. Like I said, it don't work like that, man. It proved that you never, you didn't have the faith in the beginning, man. So you you just fronting now. You come back on the scene, acting like you never left. Okay, you ain't got the faith, man. You just you just fronting now, man. Okay, you you just acting. But then again, you was always an actor, man. Okay. 
So like I said, man, you got you got to endure it to the end, man. So like I said, if if it's this year, if it's next year, man, you no, know, whatever it is, man, you you gotta you gotta be you gotta be there doing the the will of the heavenly father, man, and and the work, man. Okay. Um, this is Luke uh, chapter twenty one. And uh, verse 19. Slap it there. Okay, it says here, Impatience possess ye your souls. Okay, so you have to be patient. Okay, faith and patience, you know, and enduring, man, they, they, all, they all go hand in hand with each other, man. Okay, if you have faith, man, you have patience. If you have patience, you endure. You know, them, them things there are, are linked together, man. Okay, and like, it's, like the scripture says, man, faith is a gift given by the Most High, okay? So, you know, the, the fact that you even make it, man, it's, it's a, or you've been given faith to make it is, is a gift, man. And like I said, that gift was dished out at the very beginning, you know, with the Lord's elect, man, from the, from the foundation. Okay, so... You know, brothers just need to, you know, stay in there, man. You know, try and try and stay strong. You know, no times are hard sometimes, but you know, you know the true truth be told, man, it's only gonna get harder, man. So you know, you need to, you know, put on the whole armor, man. Get the scriptures down, okay, and strengthen, strengthen your faith, man, for these for these days to come. Okay, you know, make sure you have, you know. Have, have uh, an understanding of the scriptures, you know, to, to protect you. Okay, this is um, James chapter 5 and verse 7. It says here, Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Okay, so that's that's the end. Okay, when the Lord returns. Okay, behold, the husbandman waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, have long patience for it, until he received the early and latter rain. Okay, so you know, comparing it to a husbandman, you know, who who reaps fruit from the earth, man, he has to wait for that. Okay, he has to patiently wait for it. He can't force it to grow any quicker. Okay, he can't reap it any quicker. Okay, he has to wait. Just like the brothers out there, and we, we just have to wait, man, and keep doing what we're doing, and until that day is the day has come. Okay. It says, be, be, ye, "Be ye also patient, establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draweth nigh." Okay, so that's what you need to know. The Lord is drawing nigh, man. Okay. And you need to be on the lookout. You need to be watching for. The signs of the times, okay, these prophecies that that be coming to pass, okay, the RFID chip, you know, that's out there, okay, that's not a myth no more, for some people who believe it was a myth, okay, that's out there, okay, being, being, um, given out, people taking it, okay, already, okay, but who knows, that mass scale of RFID, um, Know that rollout, man. That they were gonna do. Maybe that happened this year, man. Maybe they're gonna force the people on it, man. Because who knows what's gonna happen tomorrow, day after next, day after next, whatever, man. You don't know that. So you know, but but it's coming. Okay, that's what you need to know. That it is coming. To so, to expect it, you need to expect these things. So you'll be on the watch out, man. Okay, be watching for the, for the for the. Um, the signs and the prophecies uh, come into pass, man. Okay. Uh, this is Hebrews chapter 12, uh, verse 1. It says, Wherefore, seeing we also are come past about with so, with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and sin which doth so easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Okay, so we're in this race, man. But like the scripture says, also the race that uh, the race is not to the swift. Okay, we have to be 
patient, okay, patient and enduring. So you know, take whatever patient you need, man. Just make sure you get to the end. Okay, like I said, not every brother is is on the same level. Okay, some know more than others. Some have different talents than other brothers, man. You know, that's the Lord, that's how the Lord dished it out, man. But don't don't burn yourself out, man. Basically, I'm not saying don't work hard. What, what I'm saying is, man, you know, <laughs> don't fall off, man. Don't get exhausted. Don't get uh, uh, worn down by by Satan. Okay, you gotta fight Satan. Uh, you know, just basically, you gotta be, you gotta make it to the end, man. However you do it, you gotta, you gotta make it. Okay. Um, okay, this is um, Revelation chapter 2, verse 25, and again, that, I suppose that will conclude this, this video. Okay, before we go out, um, this is Revelation chapter 2, verse 25. Okay, because you know, this, you know, like I said, we're waiting upon the return of our Lord. Okay, Yahweh Shai to come and, and claim dominion over this earth, okay, and, and, and place us above the heathen, okay, and our oppressors, okay. So, you know, that's what we have to enjoy, remain faithful to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, okay, continue doing this work until his return, man, okay, that's what we've been put here to do, so that's what you should be doing, man, okay. As, as long as, as as is necessary okay but the reward is great okay this is revelation chapter 2 verse 25 but that which you have already hold fast till i come okay so that's the scriptures what we have already okay it's knowledge okay and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end again talking about the end enduring to the end okay to him will i give power over the nations and he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels of potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I have received them of my father. Okay, that's Yahushua's inheritance, man. And he's, you know, going to be king over the whole earth, man. Okay, but we're going to rule with Yahushua, man. Which means we're going to be above these heathens like we were made to be. Okay, and we're going to rule over them, man. We're going to be, we're going to rule over our oppressors. Okay, we're going to have power to do that. Okay, and and you know. It's an everlasting kingdom, man. So we ain't got to worry about shit no more, man. Okay, we ain't got to worry about going into captivity anymore, because we all we all gonna be righteous, man. After this day, this day that's yet to come to pass, man. Okay. So they're, they're the things you know that we wish for, that we pray for, on 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 a night, a night like this. Okay, and on the New Year's Eve of destruction. Okay, we put those curses out to curse these these these. These wicked niggers in the world, okay. These, these wicked heathen in the world, these Edomites, okay. And, and everything that is wrong in this kingdom, man. We send them curses at man to, to bring it down, man. Okay. No. Like I said, man. Lord willing, man. You no, know, this will be all wrapped up real soon, and we can go home, man. But like I said, until until to it comes, man. Just keep doing the work, you know. And you know. Hopefully, you know, we, we see each other on the other side, man. Alright, man. So with that, brothers, I'm going to say shalom. And um, I'll catch you brothers in the next video.